Okay guys, so you saw my roller set results. Then I showed you my flat earning results. And now we're gonna focus on my ends. Now the goal here is to make sure that the roller set is as taut as possible. Paper towels helps me achieve this. So when I release the rollers, my ends will be as smooth and straight as possible. That's, that's the whole goal. I find that when I deep condition with a silicone based conditioner, my hair seems a lot straighter and my ends seem more relaxed. I stopped applying heat to my ends years ago because one, roller setting already got them pretty straight already. And then two, my ends are the oldest, most fragile part of my hair. So I thought I would take an extra step in protecting and preserving them by not applying direct heat. Also wanted to see how much length I could retain if I did not apply direct heat to my ends. And I did find myself cutting less hair on the first of every other month, which is my shampoo and straightening routine day. My hair didn't grow more, but I did retain a little bit more length because I didn't have to cut as much. I don't have a solid hair trimming method. Like I just comb through my hair, make it as even as possible, then I cut. There's no concrete routine to how I trim my ends or how much I take off. It all varies every other month. How much I take off and the, the method of how I cut my ends varies month to month. But the short thing is to take off at least a minimum of half an inch. I usually trim my ends every other month, the first of the month, every other month, the first of the month, six times a year. Also, if you self trim, make sure you're using the proper hair shears versus regular scissors. I'm using just basic scissors. I bought these from Ulta. They're not special expensive scissors. I think they were like $9.99. I think they're by Diane. And, um, but you can purchase hair shears anywhere, but make sure you purchase hair shears because you can do more harm to your ends by using um, regular old scissors. You wanna use the proper tool when trimming your ends. So you gotta think of your ends as out, like senior citizens. That's kind of how you gotta look at your ends. Like they are our senior citizens, our elders, our hair elders, okay? They are the oldest, they are the most fragile, most delicate part of our hair. So, you know, we gotta cater to them. We have to show them respect. We have to pay them extra attention. So they are the wisest of our strands and they have been around to witness probably some of our most joyous, most traumatic events of our lives. Our hair elders, our hair seniors should be spoiled. They should be pampered. They should be treated like royalty because, because they aid in length retention. They allow our hair to grow longer. So you really, really, really got to show them priority. And my ends have a regimen of their own. My end regimen is I flat iron all of my hair but I don't flat iron my ends. I put serum on my ends, but I don't put serum on the rest of my hair. And the reason why I put serum on my ends one or two times a week, you know, you wanna lightly coat your ends because I wear my hair down a lot. And seven days a week, 30 plus days a month, imagine the wear and tear it inflicts on your ends over time. You know, putting serum on your ends is kind of acts like a barrier against your clothing. So it really protects your it protects your ends against harsh fabrics and material. I maintain the longevity of my flat ironing results by either wrapping my hair at night using a cotton bandana. Cotton bandanas have always been my friend. They were never my enemy. 
okay we've been we've been real good over the past 10 years using cotton bandanas use what works for you but cotton bandanas have been great for keeping my hair in place the scarf doesn't come off at night my results comes out you know the way i want them in the morning if you don't like using a cotton bandana you can use a satin bonnet satin bonnets are just as good depends on how straight you want your results to be in the morning this is how i maintain my hair this is how i keep my hair straight throughout the 30 days it happens to revert if it gets frizzy i still do not go back in and re flat iron i do not do that i have methods of how i maintain my straight hair